Hello and welcome. This is the newspaper review right here on Star TV for today, the 18th day of July 2022. My name is Cyril Aloysius and looking at the papers with me for today is Mr. Victor Shoku. You're very much welcome, sir. Thank you. Right. So how was your weekend? It was beautiful and uh, I was so happy to see um, our darling club winning the Nigerian League hmm. yesterday. Okay, talking yeah, about the Rivers yeah. United. Yeah, we are, we are all happy for them. Yes, and we saw the governor on his uh, very sporty dress with his sport, <laughs> his sport pot belly giving them the, 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 the call. He's a lively man, he's a lively yes, man. Yes, he's a lively it was, man. It was a nice show. And uh, also, um, if you notice, yes, um, during the weekend, it was uh, a battle between Davido and uh, uh, Zazu. Mm. Zazu. Yes, it was on PDP. Portable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was a it was a cool weekend. Right? All right. Um, the paper we shall be looking at for today is um, we shall be looking at the Nation, the Sun, Daily Sun, and the Vanguard. Okay. Before we do that, we we'll go on a short break, and when we return, we will take you straight to the business of the day. Do stay tuned. Have you registered for your permanent voters card? I mean, your PVC. There is a Nigeria we all seek, a place where love, peace, security and unity can reign supreme. Waste no time. We want a country where peace and justice will be the order of the day. Unfortunately, there's a problem. One big challenge this generation has to solve. Our country cries for help every day. We need able and capable hands to lead and direct. These capable hands can be you. Have you gotten your PVC? Have you registered for the ongoing voting process? Don't say your vote does not count. Yes, it does. Have you gotten your PVC? Your apathy towards Nigeria's electionary process will further inhibit our collective growth and development as a nation. Your refusal to participate and engage will keep us at a standstill. So be intentional. I have my PVC. Your votes, your voice, would go a long way in preventing absolute destruction of this country and the future of our children, the hope of tomorrow. The 2023 Nigerian elections are just around the corner. Go out and get heard. Don't forget your vote, your voice. This message is proudly brought to you by Thav Media Limited. That's a short break and the first paper we shall be looking at is the daily the nation, I beg your pardon, okay? And amongst the headlines in the nation, here we have Adeleke, PDP, celebrate as Oyetola studies results. Adeleke, PDP, celebrate as Oyetola studies result. And um, governor calls for calm. Buhari, outcome or show people's will. Abdul Salami's panel decries vote buying. Right, that is for that. And on page 15, we have UBA explores $7.7 .7 trillion market with Dubai expansion. Okay, and on page 2, we have expectant mother, 11 others abducted. Expectant mother, 11, uh, 11 others abducted. That's a sad news. And next, we have customs confirms plan to auction 7,000 uncleared vehicles. And on page 5, we have XCJN, 14 Supreme Court Justices for probe over corruption. And on page 4, we have Muslim Muslim tickets shouldn't be an issue, says Pastor Bakare. Says Muslim Muslim tickets shouldn't be an issue. Okay, that's on page 4. And lastly, on page 5, we have banks adjust forex sale policy as dollar scarcity persists. Dangote, Ovia, Emefiele, others for Zenith Bank's seminar. Okay, that's the much we can take in the nation. You want more details? Get a copy of the nation for yourself. All right, sir, Mr. Victor, which of the headlines do you trust you? Okay, Ocean 2022 elections. Okay, um... A big congratulations to the Adelike's family. Yeah. In fact, on the internet, it was, it was just uh, going frenzy when people were saying that every family must have somebody like Davido. Who supports his family? Have, uh, uh, somebody like Davido in your family, that means your family will be so, so, so. Yes, yeah. So, 
but, 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 uh, but, but that's not possible, is it? Uh, no, that's not possible. <laughs> that's not possible. You cannot just... Uh, well, you know, the, the <laughs> life, you cannot just work for every other person. Yeah. Okay? So, um, but yes, congratulations to the family, not just uh, Ademola Jackson, uh, Ademeke, who is the winner of the, of the election. Okay. Um, okay. For what you say there, you find out that the PDP... As, as a matter of fact, they are the, the, the winners of the, the election. When you group mm. it, if I should group it by APC, PDP, and the Labour Party, you find out that the, the PDP are the major loser, uh, or major winners there. The losers are the APC and the Labour Party. Okay, okay, let me take it down a little bit. Now, the PDP are the winners because um, uh, it's been looking like the party is uh, really, really shrinking down. Not until this election, and they won. They won by over thirty thousand votes, and they won in incumbent government. So that also sounds a lot. But some people are also saying that it was just between. Um, uh, so I'm coming to the Labour Party right now. Some people are just saying that it was just between the APC and the PDP. Really? And I, and I say no. Labour Party is proving itself as the top four, but unfortunately for them, for Ocean states. They were not able to even get the third position. Mm. Okay, they were not even able to get up to three thousand votes, and uh, that also spent so much for them. Three thousand votes, meaning that they did not even get up to one point zero point one percent of the vote. Mm -hmm. And I wonder why what happened. But when I was uh, when I was uh, reminiscing or thinking about it, I noticed that uh, there was one time I was reading, uh, um, uh, going through the the ballot paper, mm. and uh, I saw the Labour Party being represented as LP. Mind you, the word LP is a short form of Labour Party. Just like we have the PDP and we have the APC. Well, there is something I need to also tell the Labour guys out there and their publicity secretaries and their PROs and their uh, communication experts and directors, that they should make sure that the populace understand that Labour Party is equal to LP. I don't know if you get that. Okay. Because the uneducated persons in our communities might not understand, understand that, what yeah. LP means because they are not selling the abbreviation. They are not selling it. Okay. Okay. Are you getting that? So on the on the ballot paper, when you see LP or when these guys, the, the persons that want to vote for Labour Party, when mm. they see LP, they, they, they might not know the meaning. Okay. That is why some of these parties that um, uh, are their names goes close to APC or PDP find that that they get votes because people even think that like PRUP and the code people mm. think that they are PDP. Okay, okay. What is to tell you the level of education in our country? You can't even you can't even uh, use today to discuss about all that. Mm. Okay, so. I think for the Labour Party, you can tell me that I'm I was so shocked that last week they are they are governorship uh, uh, candidate scored less than three thousand two thousand seven hundred about two thousand seven hundred. Why Adeleke scored um, uh, four hundred and three thousand four or three thousand and some numbers and Oyetola got three hundred and seventy five thousand three hundred and seventy five thousand and twenty seven. Oh. So you can see that gap. So, Mr. Victor, um, given this uh, victory for the Adele case, do you do you really um, think um, it spells um, good fortunes for the PDP, not just in Osho State, but all around the nationwide oh, 2023 yes. elections? Yes, it will send a signal to their party members that want to cross carpets. They might have a rethink. Mm. That's you. This pose that we think is sinking. It's not really, really sink, you know. Okay. But for the fact that they got something out of Washington State. Okay. And mind you, there was so much, uh, there was so much uh, fear for the party in a kitty when the result came out of a kitty that they did not even get, they, they, they did not even get one, one. Okay, they were struggling with one third of the vote. Okay. okay. So, but this time around, they came out victorious. And the margin was good enough for winning an occupant government so it's been so good for them and i okay. know that uh, some persons that have made up their minds to come out in the open to declare that they are uh, the changing parties will likely most likely uh, okay. 
suspend uh, such a uh, movement. Okay, so do you, um, how, do, how do I put this now? <laughs> well, let's, let's leave that for, for an another time. And let's take a look at our next paper now. Our next paper is the Daily Sun. And amongst the headlines in the Daily Sun, we have Oshon. PDP, Atiku, brag over a delicate victory. PDP, Atiku, brag over a delicate victory. Okay, and that's on page 6. And on page 29, we have 2023. My successor will come from Eboyi North. That's according to Mahi saying, says his successor will come from Eboyi North on page 29. And on page 27, we have you can't win war against terrorists by rhetoric. Afeni Ferrer tells Buhari, says you can't win war against terrorists by rhetorics. Afeni Ferrer tells Buhari on page 27. And on page 28, we have ex-Lagos APC women leader, Kenny Nelson, dies. That's a very sad one. And on page 27, we have APC plans legal action against defective lawmakers. Okay, and next on page three, ASU strike, NLC plans nationwide solidarity protest. That's on page three. And lastly, on page 29, we have IPOB wants Bukachua arrested over hate speech against Igbo. IPOB wants Bukachua arrested over hate speech against Igbo. So that's on page 29 of the Daily Sun. Okay. Before we move straight to our next paper, Mr. Victor, which are the headlines you want to talk about? Okay, I will still love to dwell on the Adelike's uh, on, on the Adelike's victory, just like uh, just stated of the, of the nation. Okay, now I want to also let pe uh, some persons out there that do not know that Adelike's popularity really played a very big role in this election. Mm. Mind you, the family is made up of uh, very rich persons. Okay, like we also know David Ospara is uh, the president of uh, the Adelike University and they have uh, big businesses. In fact, you know that even the Adel Ademola Jackson Adelike, the current winner of this election, mm. was once uh, a director in Guinness, Guinness Nigerian PLC. Wow. Okay, and uh, they have big businesses here and there. Okay, and uh, another thing that also helped them is their popularity. They are also known as a, a family with heart of gold. Okay, they have a big heart. They are philanthropists in that heart. Well, and they also used the opportunity that NSAS gave in 2020 when um, uh, some persons were at home, okay, due, due to the lockdown, and many um, uh, government uh, warehouses were discovered where they were hiding. Palliatives made for the poor. But the Adelikes came out and opened bands of food. They came out, distributed even to the smallest in the community. And that really gave their name a, a, a good lift. So do you think that actually played a, a, a huge role in, 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 in its victory it in did, the elections? It did, it did. And coming from the fact that coming from the fact that he also made a good example of himself. Mind you, in 2018 when he lost okay remember how he lost he lost due to there was a real run okay between him the same Aye, uh, Oyetola, and Adeleke, Ademola Adeleke. Mm -hmm. there was a, a real run between them okay um uh, after um uh, the sdp um uh, candidate omishore was uh um, will i say it was out of the race okay and uh, these two persons went for a real run after the real run Oyetola won Okay, then Adeleke went to the tribunal and he won at the tribunal. But unfortunately for him, when they got to the, to the Supreme Court, he lost. Okay, during that same election, there was a very strong point that the opposition came. They came with the point that he faked his academic documents. Were there proofs to that? Oh, do you know that? They came to the to the they, they came out with a document though. Okay, they came in that the principal that signed his wayek in 1988 was the same principal was the same signature that signed on another wayek in 2008. 
1988 and 2008. About about that uh, about that gap. So, but yeah, although the the, the, the high court in uh, Oshobo had to strike off the case, okay, but they also did something. Okay, mind you, when these kind of cases come, there is usually a, a, a part of the divide that goes for or the other side goes against. Mm. So it has already damaged or dented his image. So, but he went to the US and got an associate degree. Now, I think now that, that was a smart move by him. Yes, a smart and move. he was showing it online. People were seeing that this man was going to school, even during his graduation, he uploaded everything. And maybe even there was also back then there was also this strong point that they are, when he was when he, when he wrote the wire that can he prove or call out names of people that wrote wire with him that they should come out okay they should come out and say that they wrote wire with him so but he had to use the internet and uh, he had good advice and that advised him to see go go ahead and, uh, and study and he used even during the debate he used it as a, a strong point when he was uh, delivering his uh, manifestos so going down the lane okay i want to also let our um, uh, viewers know that he was his mother he was born in a new state actually this is uh, ademola adeleke he okay. was born in a new state and to, a, uh, to a, an evil evil mother named nenna wow <laughs> so that also <laughs> yeah that was so revealing what i got to find out uh, when i got to find out that so yes the family has also helped him because uh, he's, uh, I think, the last born or the last male child from his uh, his father. Mind you, there is Ishaka Deleke. Ishaka Deleke was once uh, a senator for the Republic of Nigeria. And also, mind you, he was an APC member. He was APC too. So, that's to also tell you, nowadays, even the PDP and the APC, as far as I'm concerned, they are one because these guys have conscapated and conscapated that you do not even know their backgrounds okay mm -hmm. so i give them a big kudos to the family and i pray this is not just also about the uh, the frenzy and the and the dancing senator mm. slash dancing governor it is not just about merriment it does work the seat, the seat of ocean is a place of work you need to go there and walk <laughs> and not a caricature place or has the people are hands on deck. Yes, <laughs> the people are suffering. What the people want is not just about that thing. They want you to deliver good governance. Oh, Mr. Victor, let's let, let's just keep our fingers crossed and, and see how that goes. You know, he just he just uh, got, got elected in, so we, we can't just rush him like that. Let's, let's no, 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 no. He start he start working immediately. <laughs> Okay, let's let's take a look at the Vanguard for now. And amongst the headlines in the Vanguard here, the first one here says Auchan. Factors that gave Adeleke victory. Auchan. Factors that gave Adeleke victory. That's on page five. And next on page eight, we have Zenith Bank holds seventh annual international trade seminar on non-oil export. Okay, that's on page eight. And next on page nine, we have Gads. Gadzama kicks as Michael wins NBA presidential election. Okay, Gadzama kicks as Michael wins NBA presidential election. That's on page nine of the Vanguard. And next we have here on page nine as well. So here says strike students desperate to switch to private universities. That's according to investigations. Students re desperate to switch to private universities. That's according to investigation on page 9. And on page 8, we have UBA Group expands to EMEA. Launches operation in Dubai. That's on page 8. And lastly, on page 10, we have why I had surgery in Nigeria. According to Osibanjo, says why I had surgery in Nigeria. That's what Osibanjo is saying on page 10 of the Vanguard. Okay. That's the much we can take in the vanguard. Mr. Victor, before we call it a day, what do you have to say? Okay, NBA president, okay, Nigerian Bar Association. Let me talk about them today. It's been a long time I, I mentioned them in my lips. Okay, now, um, people are out, okay, they had an election. Let me start from that. They had an election over the weekend to get a new president. Okay, um, uh, okay, you notice that Abata, Ulumida Abata was the 
okay, he's the current, he'll be leaving by August, okay? Mm. And um, he also broke a record for being uh, not being a senior advocate of Nigeria, okay? Because it's, it's, it's been about being an essay and before you become a president. Not like he's enshrined on their constitution, but uh, it's like if you don't get up to that level, you cannot be seen as somebody so serious to become the president. So, wow. Olumide had to, um, he broke the, 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 the record and uh, he became a uh, president. And uh, I think his record, personally, I think uh, he also did well. He did well because um, the MBA, yes, it's, uh, um, uh, it's a non-profit uh, organization and uh, it's not like they have that excessive uh, um, uh, we don't use the word excessive power. It's not like they have that uh, um, constitutional powers, but yes, they have influential powers. Okay, so they really they get but, to influence by influential um, uh, powers. Policies. What do you what do you mean by okay? They power? get to influence policies like um, uh, the INEC, for instance. Okay, the NBA can come out, make statements that the INEC can listen to, and heed to their um, uh, will I say instructions sometimes or um, uh, to their advice sometimes too okay. okay okay mind you our election has also improved and i also give kudos to persons like uh, um, uh, the civic society of nigeria you can take that out from them and also the our our um, uh, legal um, uh, professionals uh, from the house of the nba because when things go bad they also come out and they uh, they tend to um, uh, come from the side of the people, of the masses, of the community, of Nigerians to address some uh, um, uh, disturbing uh, issues. Okay, going down to the uh, going down to the uh, to INA, Okay, you find out that they have also um, uh, put in some pressure to the INA. Even in this extension of voters registration, they also made their voice known. Okay, okay, they've also come out, even the current, um, uh, the person that won, as in my, my cow, he also, his manifesto also dwelt on the coming 2023 general election. What he will use the body to do. Okay, so it plays a very, it's a very, very important uh, organization in this country. Okay. He is the 31st president, I mean my cow, he's the 31st president of the NBA. And I wish him all the best. And that's what I yeah, there was some little, little um, uh, skirmishes and all that. But he won convincingly. Um, uh, an election of, uh, you have about uh, over um, uh, 50,000 persons. And he, he won 22,000 of their votes. Wow. And okay, they even came out to say the INEX should come to, 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 to them and learn the processes that they've used. Okay, they went fully electronic and uh, I give them kudos because, yeah, it was, in quote, a very free and fair election. Okay. Yes, and I give them that kudos. And I pray that the next two years that he has to serve, he will serve, um, and uh, he will serve it very well and he will leave um, uh, some uh, 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 mark for the next government. All right, uh, we do pray so too, Mr. Victor. Thank you so much for your time with us today. We really do appreciate, and we also appreciate you that you're watching us and that you're faithful to your screen till this very time. Thank you so much. Without you, we would not be here. That is a fact. But unfortunately, this is where we have to call it a day and a wrap in the program for today. My name is Cyril Aloysius. And don't forget, you can be a part of this discussion. You have questions, you have suggestions to make. Do you want to drop them in the comment section of any of our social media platforms on YouTube? Petar TV on Instagram, Tav TV underscore NG on Facebook, we are Tav TV and on Twitter, we are Tav TV. And don't forget to visit www.tavmedia.com for your latest information on every aspect of life. Thank you so much once again. Until we come here again next time, you have a blessed and a wonderful day. It's bye for now.